So guys, work with me here. An all-in-one toolbox for your Fire Stick, for your Android TVs, completely free. What does it do? Well, firstly, I can use it to browse the internal file system of my device. I can install applications, multiple applications, so I can select 10 APKs, press one button, and all of those 10 APKs will be automatically installed on my device. I can send ADB commands. I can back up my entire K application and restore that to another device. And lastly, with this updated version, I now have complete remote control of my device. So press one button here, and we are now seeing my complete Fire Stick on my other device. And when I press left, we can see those commands are sent directly to my 4K Fire Stick. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this absolutely amazing free toolbox, which has some amazing features, works great on any Android device, and I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the new 4K Fire Stick Max, but as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can use this toolbox to connect to any Android TV, any Fire Stick, Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7 device and then manage that device with this toolbox. Now the name of this toolbox is ADB Link and I will show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can install this onto your Windows PC or onto your Mac or even onto your Linux device. Now I'm doing my demonstration over here on my Windows machine. This is what you're seeing on the left-hand side. And of course in the background, we can see my 4K Fire Stick Max. Now for this tool to work, the only thing it needs is the IP address of the device that you want to manage, take control of, manipulate the file system, send applications to, all you need is that single IP address. Now, as you know, on the Amazon devices, to find your IP address, just go over to settings, go down into My Fi TV, go to about, and we can confirm my IP address is 192.168.0.185. So confirm what your IP address is. And let's now open up ADB link. Now, when you start the application, we can see it has a very basic layout. And what you want to do is create a profile for every device you want to manage. So we can see on my device, I've already added something for my 4K Fire Stick, for my Cube, for my Tunnelink box, for my Chromecast. Any device you want to add, you can create the profile. Then when you want to manage something, you can select the device, click on connect, and away you go. Now for this demonstration, let me add in my 4K Fire Stick Max. So I'm gonna click on new. So let's give it a description. So it's gonna be my 4K Max. Now the address is the key part. So this is where you have to enter in your IP address. And we know my address is 192.168.0.185. The rest of the things you can leave as default and let's click on save. Now that we've done that, I can now confirm that the device says 4K max and let's click on connect. And we can now see it says it connected. Now the very first time you do this on your device, you will see that standard ADB prompt asking you that, do you allow this machine to make an ADB connection? So click on yes, click on always allow, and then you're pretty much good to go. Okay, so now that we've made an ADB connection, what can we do? Uh, let's bring up that virtual keypad. Let's click on this. Now, for example, you can see my Fire Stick in the background. So when I press up, we can see it sends the up command. If I press home, we can see it presses home. So a great way you can control your Fire Stick from another device. Uh, let's just close this down. Okay, so probably the first thing you want to do is push APKs to your device. And as I said in the intro, you can actually daisy chain or select multiple applications and all of them will be installed one after the other automatically on your device. So if I click on install APK, it's now asking me to select one or more applications I want to send to my 4K Fire Stick Max. So, in this demonstration, I'm going to select these two here, which is Remote ADB Shell and also Set Orientation. So I've got two applications selected. I see the prompt, you want to install these two applications. Let's click on Yes. Now in the background, those two applications are now being copied to my 4K Fire Stick. And we can see straight away, they're then installed one after the other. So we have Remote ADB Shell 
and we also have set orientation so what a great and easy way to fully load or if you need to install multiple applications onto your fire stick or any device you can literally just make this connection select as many applications as you want click on go go and grab a drink and by the time you come back all of those applications will be installed on your device. I mean, that in itself is an amazing feature, but the fact that this application has so many great features really shows why it really is a fantastic application. Okay, so that was in install applications. Similarly, if I need to browse the file system of my device, so let's say I want to maybe copy some wallpapers, or maybe I want to copy an application that I've installed so I can then install it onto another device. I can click on file manager and this is now showing me the internal file system of my 4k fire stick mac so for example if i click on downloader we can now see all of the things in my downloader folder so here's some of the wallpapers i've downloaded some other applications and if you want to copy something from your device you can select the application click on pull and this will then pull this from your device and copy it to the machine where you're running adb link from and similarly, you can push content from your device directly onto your 4K Fire Stick or any device that you're managing. Now, the backup function, as I mentioned before, is for the K application. So if you are somebody that uses custom builds or maybe has custom add-ons, you can click on backup. This will then ask you, where is your K application installed? You can click on OK, and this will then create a backup of all of your settings, all of your add-ons, all of your preferences. All of that will be backed up to your machine. And then if you want to then connect to another device, maybe an Android TV device or maybe another Fire Stick, you can then use the restore option, select that same backup file, and this will then push that configuration over to that new device. And that way you can have the same build, same add-ons, same preferences, same configs onto multiple devices. Now the screen cap is to take a screenshot of your screen. So if you want to take a screenshot to send to somebody or just for your records, you can use this feature here. Now, top here we can see we have the options to reboot the device. We can also set timers. So this really is a fantastic feature because many people always ask that, how can I customize when my device goes to sleep or maybe I want it to never go to sleep or when does the screensaver turn on? But if you go to utility and set timers and we can see I can now set exactly when my device goes to sleep in milliseconds or I can just click this option here, which is sleep off which means that my device will never go to sleep. So some of you may want this depending on your particular setup. And it's great that we can easily customize these options just with these settings here. Similarly for the screensaver, I can fully disable the screensaver or I can adjust the time. We can see my screensaver is set to 840,000 milliseconds, which I think is, I think 14 minutes. But if I change that to 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds, just to confirm that, is it actually doing anything or not? So if I click on OK, so now in theory, in three seconds, look in the background, what happens? The screensaver turns on. So what a great way to fully manage your device, change these timers, push applications. All of that is included in this great ADB link. Again, the last big feature, which is one of the new ones they've added in this latest release, is the SCR CPY or screen copy. So this is actually a standalone utility you can download to remote control Android devices. And as it is open source, they basically bundled it with this application. So now directly from here, I can click on this. You then see this screen asking if you want to add any custom parameters. I'll just click on OK. And in a couple of seconds, I now see my Fire Stick screen. It looks a bit big, let me make it a bit smaller. I now see my Fire Stick screen on my PC and it's not just seeing the screen, I now have full control using my keyboard. I can press right, I can go down, I can press down again, click on my developer options, I can turn something off and on. And we can see I have full control of my 4K Fire Stick Max from my PC. So you can see guys, ADB Link really is a phenomenal tool, it just has so many great features. And as I mentioned before, you can create profiles for all of your devices, manage them, send applications to them, manipulate the file system, remote control them, reboot them. All of that control is at your fingertips. And it really is impressive that the application is 100% free. So that's what the application is. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your devices. Okay, so to get the latest version of ADP Link, just open up your favorite browser and just type in the address bit.ly 
forward slash ADB link and the number 22. Let's press enter and this will take you directly to my website where you can see all the information about the application, what it looks like, how it works. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll then see the three links. So depending on your device, whether that's Windows, Mac or Linux, choose a link from here, install that onto your device and you can then go ahead and manage all of your Android devices. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I really do think this is an amazing tool and if you are interested in managing all of your Android devices, I really think there's nothing else better out there. So do leave me a comment below, let me know and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.